In terms of um, more, more back on this game plan, um, what are some more specifics of the game? Because you've kind of talked about it in a general sense, um, and we're going to get more into that when we come back from the break. We have a couple more minutes, so just kind of highlight the main arenas of the game plan. Okay. Well, one is, you know, what I call know thyself. You know, okay. we start on that premise. It, it's really hard to develop a game plan for parenting mm -hmm. if I don't know what kind of one parent I am. Right. If I don't understand where I'm at in the process. So that's one of the first okay. places that we go. Um, and when you think of it, usually you're dealing with two extremes. You've got the permissive and the authoritarian parent. So we usually mm -hmm. start at that point. Uh, and we'll, yeah, we'll just kind of talk amongst ourselves and say, well, what kind of parent are you in, the, in that process? Well, most of them are going, eh, yeah, I'm not really sure. No, you know, when, but most of the time when you, when you nail them down, mm -hmm. we often will parent first as a permissive parent where mm -hmm. I am too tired to go ahead and deal with a, you know, ankle biting as a Kevin Lehman would say, little ankle biters, you know, mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, I'll just ignore it and I, I won't set those boundaries down. And then all of a sudden, little junior gnaws through that last nerve, you know, and then I just come down with the wrath of Khan. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. everything, fireworks go off, I'm breathing fire and the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So we usually hit those two extremes. And so that's usually kind of the, a lot of how single parent, a lot of parents, not just single, you know, right. you go, so it's understanding where my starting point is. And then okay. that's, you know, from there, I can go, oh yeah, you know, I am pretty inconsistent, you know, and, and understanding mm -hmm. that, that what we're trying to do is get a middle, middle right. ground here that I can be consistent. So that's part of that understanding process. So that's it, understanding myself first. Understand. And then going from there, okay, I, what I want to do is I, want, I don't want to be a, a, an authoritarian right. where, you know, it, it's just, you know, my way or the highway and, and all of that. Uh, and I don't want to be totally permissive. I want to be authoritative. And right. that's, you know, in loving, uh, and then out of love, but kind, loving firmness. Yes. And so that's our starting point. So balance is what I'm hearing. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I've seen how, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Summed it up very well. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we have to go on break. So um, we'll, we'll be right back. Make sure to stay tuned and we'll have some more insight and perspective from our friend Larry here. So we'll be right back. I wasn't going to school because I was making money stealing cars. Well, I was 10 when I first got involved with drugs. I skipped school because, you know, nobody cared. When I first got pregnant, school was not important to me, so I dropped out. Well, if I don't finish school, then I can't go to college. I mean, that's the whole point of what I want to do with my life. I still need to go to school and make, make it for myself. I think I'm happier now. I know I'm happier now. Welcome back to The Single Parent. I'm Jennifer Dow, and we're here with our friend Larry. We're talking about parenting game plan, how important that is, and, and the components of that. Before the break, we were talking about authoritarian parenting versus permissive parenting. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk a little bit more about that and um, then kind of the parenting styles and yeah, things. It, again, getting back to knowing thyself, okay. you know, right. and, and those, to be honest with you, are the mm -hmm. easiest ways to parent. You know, okay. when the, uh, an authoritarian parent I don't have to think through. I just have to speak my mind, and it is what it is, and the end of the story yes, and all my that. My way or the highway. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, and you know, most of it, like my, my parents' generation, yeah. our dads were all the, you know. Uh, right. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't like they came up to us and said, you know, uh, what are your thoughts on this subject? Yeah. There you was know, none yeah, of that. They, they it really was children did, yeah. are seen and not heard. Exactly. You know, <laughs> and, and that's not, you know, uh, you know, the, there's not all bad and all good on all of this, but it's mm -hmm. again getting back to understanding some of the extremes that we can right. take. Again, and the permissive too is a very easy way of parenting because it isn't. It's just letting, you know, wide open boundaries, not having to put any constraints. Mm -hmm. But the problem is in the long run, and that's what we say, you know, it's a short term solution that creates long term problems. Because, you know, to not put those boundaries in place for my children, proper loving boundaries, and right. I want to emphasize that, uh, I'm creating even more problems down the road. Mm -hmm. It may be a real stopgap, a uh, quick fix for me right now to either, you know, just, you know, just come down mm -hmm. uh, on the kids or just let them run wild. Uh, but I'm, I'm creating a long-term problem that right. is going to manifest itself. So if we can put that little bit of time and effort, and we're not talking rocket science here, we're not, you know, and that's mm -hmm. part of the problem, I think, parents think it's such a complicated thing. Right. God wouldn't have put us in this situation if he didn't give us the tools and the ability to, right. to do it. And uh, one of the things that I keep thinking about, and I, I'm glad to hear you say that, because 
I know even me as a parent, I, um, I think that, oh, I have these unhealthy tendencies that are, I mean, it's obvious that we all have unhealthy tendencies, but then to get rid of the unhealthy tendencies and try to gain healthy tendencies, it's sometimes I feel like the only solution is to go to intense therapy. <laughs> So what I'm hearing you say is that's not the only solution, no. that it can be more simple than Through that? common sense, God-inspired, <laughs> you know. I uh, Back in the old days, you know, they did a great job in parenting, and there wasn't all of these counselors and mm -hmm. so-called professionals running around. Which do uh, have their place, for sure. No, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not putting them down yeah. by any means. But I, I, again, I go back to the fact where, yeah, I, we oftentimes you know, put so much pressure on ourselves that, you know, with, with you know, God wouldn't have given us this job okay. unless he gives us the means or would give us the means to do it. And it's also been said that, you know, you don't have to be a great parent to have great kids. You right. just got to be a good parent, you know. Right. Ease up on yourself, you know. I, I think there was only one perfect parent when I think about okay. it, and that was God. There you go. And there. didn't he have children that disobeyed him? Ah, very good point, I, too. I think he and, did. Uh, that's and, it. Yeah. You know, I mean, God is our perfect, you know. Right. And we oftentimes, in guilt, and that's another issue we can get into, right. you know, because guilt and single mm -hmm. parenting are rather synonymous oftentimes, mm -hmm. and there's good guilt and bad guilt and all those yeah. things. But yeah, sometimes we, we just, you know, uh, with a little, and that's why we get back to that game plan. Mm -hmm. With a little bit of planning and a little bit of anticipation, then, you know, it doesn't have to be this long, drawn-out, complicated ordeal. Okay. And, well, let's get uh, into that then. Yeah. Well, let's hear some solutions. So what, what um... Well, the... Part of it, again, it, it, it's an understanding process. Right. And uh, given, uh, you know, the, the one is understanding, uh, getting back into, you know, that, that process that we take. The next thing that we look at is, you know, as far as punishment and, and discipline, understanding That's those concepts. That's a scary concepts. word. Well, I'm punishment nervous. has some of a, you know, a bit of a con, you know, and I, uh -huh. and I think, you know, oftentimes it, and, and it's not that, and there's a lot of diversity on people's right. interpretation here. Uh -huh. But uh, punishment just for the sole purpose of an impulsive re response that's based out of emotion being anger right. usually is not the best way to do it. But, but doesn't that, one thing that I know I struggle with and a lot of other parents struggle with is what, if you don't deal with it right then, won't that make it not impactful for the child? Yeah, we're, we're not talking about Pavlov's dogs here. You know, uh -huh. and that's, that's the thing. <laughs> you, know, we're, you know, you can you can take a step back and catch your breath for five or ten minutes. Okay. And regroup. And, and little Junior is not going to totally miss the whole, you know, uh, response. Well, that's thing. refreshing. You know, okay. yeah, okay. you know, so... <laughs> And, and, you know, because you're right. I mean, that, that is kind of that, you know, you have to do that association and, right. you know, that immediate. And and sometimes, yeah, a simple, hey, no. And, you know, and if little Junior is going to stick his finger in the socket there, obviously, yeah, I'm not going to take a step back, you know, pretend. Let's see, should I stop him or not? You know, right. I mean, yeah. So, um, so now that we've established these two different parenting styles, authoritarian, permissive, and we established that a balance is the best way to go, um, where do you go from there um, when you're looking at this game plan and living out this vision for your kids? <laughs> and then, well, then we actually get into you know understanding punishment versus the uh, uh, the discipline aspect of it, and the mm -hmm. fact where you know with with punishment it is going to be that emotion based out of anger. Right. Uh, disciple, uh, discipleship and discipline go hand in hand, you know, and, and discipline, if we understand as parents that our roles are uh, as, as disciples of Christ, mm -hmm. it's a, a teacher-student approach, a, uh, a guiding, a mentor. Mm -hmm. And so if we look at that as far as, you know, that our, you know, obviously, as we said before, God being the only perfect parent, but again, he's our father. Right. So we look at that relationship and we parallel that it's, it's one of of discipline, God does discipline, but it's based not in anger but in love. Mm -hmm. And so when we when we approach our, our our correcting our children and we look for those teachable moments and all those mm -hmm. things, you know, it's a whole different mindset that we often take from what we're often used to rather than right. going back to those emotions. But it's it's moving ahead as building this this game plan. Uh, based mm -hmm. on looking at, how, you know, what is it I, I want to teach my children, going back to the fundamentals of what we were saying. If I don't have that vision, I, I, don't, right. I can't do discipleship. I, you know, okay. I can't do training. So, and, and then it's looking for those moments that I can teach and guide my child yeah. in the ways that 
God would have him be or me raise uh, my child in.